the pandemic has um, it, it is uh, upset the apple cart of our lives in so many different ways and and ended so many sadly as well. But even in our work and the way we choose work and what we decide to do work wise, that's going through a real transformation. And that's what the good doctor wants to talk about today. Our good friend, Dr. John Braccio, PhD, Regional Psychological Services of East Lansing at drjohnb.com. Good morning, sir. I'm glad well, you haven't morning. changed careers. I'm probably appreciative <laughs> well, of that. <laughs> well, I'm in upper middle age yet. I'm not ready to do it yet. How does that sound? Still that sounds good. Time to think about that. Um, yeah. I might add, what really caught my attention was an article in the Washington Post with a headline, nearly a third of U.S. workers under 40 considered changing careers during the pandemic. Hmm. Now, this, this was comes from a, a, a poll that was taken by the Washington Post and the Shar School of Policy and Government at George Mason University, and it was taken between July 6th and July 21st. And it's, it's, it's a fascinating uh, bit of information because it, it just comes during a period when many people have lost jobs, had to rely on employment benefits, and were often working for a home. And while this was going on, um, people took a look at their lives differently. And this is a quote from that article. Many okay. people told the Post that the pandemic altered how they think about what is important in life and their careers. It has given them a heightened understanding that life is short, and now is the time to make the changes they have often dreamed of. The result is a great reassessment of work as Americans fundamentally reimagine their relationships to their jobs. I mean, hey, I think stop for, stop for just a second, Doc. You've been talking about this for years. This is yes. what you always say. You know, sometimes things present themselves, whether it's in the large macro like COVID or just an individual thing. You've always talked about in some of those exact same words. Well, that is that is true, Jack. I, I, excuse me, I think what has happened here, Dave, what's happened here, I was talking to a, a friend of mine named Jack, okay, a, not, not, not a media person, the person about this who was changing his work, okay? Okay. In this, in this case, was going to be thinking about where to live, what to do, and it kind of brought to my mind that I already know two other, three, two persons that have moved to Florida, one to Texas, one has moved back here. This is just in a world that I talk to people every day. And then another person, I, I said the person I'm talking to is thinking of moving. So it's an, it's an interesting time, but I have. I've gone by the Winston Churchill quote, we be, will be it to the person that when the public calls is not prepared. And I think there's really a lot of truth to that. So we really are at a time right now that people are looking at jobs or looking at changing. When you consider 17% of the persons interviewed actually had altered where they were working from, where they, if they were moving. So there really is a, a, a real change here. And just in June, there was 10.1 million jobs available in the United States. That, that's an amazing number, the largest ever. So people really do have choices. And people now that have had a chance to be home for a year, obviously there's been a lot of bad coming. I'm, I'm not trying to turn COVID into a good thing. It's been a horrible, horrible thing. It continues to be. But it's a survey like this, a poll, shows that there are people that have taken a whole nother look at work, at life, and are already making changes. Like I, I read here a while ago that in the San Francisco area, people that were paying just overwhelming rentals were now moving further away, still paying high rentals in California, but nowhere near the same because right. they were working from home. And I think you're going to find that people also have developed closer relationships. Not everything was bad about people being at homes with family, with spouses, and they're not going to give that that up in, in a time of many job openings. People are looking, and, and employers now are paying more. The employers are offering more benefits or offering more flexibility because they really have to. I just saw in Grand Haven here, it said a line cook starting at $18 an hour. That's, huh. that's a pretty high salary for a line cook in a small restaurant. I'm not, not bad. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that that's the kind of changes and things that we are seeing. So it's really it's kind of an exciting it's kind of an exciting time. People also have had a chance rather than 
rushing in their cars here, you know, honking their horn, trying to get somewhere, paying for parking, rushing in, into buildings. Working out of home has also given them time to think about continuing education, continuing their further career. So I think, and also, it's also a time that human beings are looking at weather, they're looking at outdoors, they're looking at um, mountains, they're looking at rivers, they're looking at lakes, whatever it is, many of which, of course, we have in Michigan, many things. Um, but again, people are looking and they're really, they're really analyzing what is right for me, what is not right for me, where is this going, what oh, is the meaning I, in life? And, and, and I know this anec- anecdotally, uh, Doc, because a lot of my friends who like to travel, travel abroad, have not been able to or for whatever reason, maybe they don't feel comfortable, but they're rediscovering their own country. And I'm, I've am i been pleasantly surprised with just how many people I know have been going to our national parks over the last yes. year and sending photographs back. And these are not people who would normally be, you know, traipsing about in the Winnebago through the western intermountain states, but they are. And I think it's I think it's pretty cool. Or or checking out our state parks, and making the roll through. And you know it it and it's young people here too. And you talk about under forty, but you know my youngest daughter, she said I think I want to change majors, Dad. Recently, <laughs> and she said, but am I stuck with? I said I think if anything's been taught to us the last couple of years, nobody's stuck in anything. You you can if you think it's the right move, then you do it and do it with gusto. Uh, my dear, well, do it with some gusto, you know? So Well, I really I, do. I, I, no, I think this is an exciting time. Now, you know, I don't, I, we, we have to look at two things here. I don't want to minimize the horrible thing of COVID. Of course not. Of the, de- of the Delta variant. It's just oh. in, in the midst of horrible things, people can find purpose and meaning and find a new place for them in life. So this can really be exciting because people, I think, often in the past, got into a career, they just stayed in the career. This may be, have been changing, but still, people didn't necessarily think of making major changes. But when people are working out of their home, they're beginning to see if, they, if they're working out of their home and they're going to be able to continue, they can live wherever they want, okay, within reason, then you're going to see a lot of mobility, a lot of changes. Like I mentioned just one example of someone moving back to Michigan, three people have gone, and another person I just talked to just was also thinking of in the process of moving so there this is just anecdotally some people i'm talking to and i think anyone you talk to is going to be seeing the same kind of a thing so these really are they're exciting times in the midst of disaster there can be good things so when i read this article i thought it was just a very interesting interesting bit of data on this from this from this particular poll that was just recently taken are you seeing um, with your practice now are you seeing people becoming, um, I guess, coming to grips would be the wrong way to say this, but becoming used to life under COVID, that, that they're no longer maybe quite as fearful. Maybe it's because they're vaccinated or they made a change like you just talked about, but they're they're coming to terms with it and not letting it um, a, a fear of it rule their life. Um, or, or what are you seeing from your your patients? Well, I'm still I'm still seeing some people are still very fearful. They always were, and unfortunately, I think they're going to stay that way for a while. All right. And, and maybe with some justification, I think there are some that feel they've never really even gotten the common cold, so they're really not worrying. You still have that group there too. Mm-hmm. You have people that um, have never taken vaccines, and they're not, you know, in terms of like for colds and are not going to, so though that group is there. But as, as the, but the vast majority of them that, that, I, that I talk to, I think they are coming to terms within reason that they are going to have to take precautions to some degree. I think that long after COVID is not a major thing, we're looking at it in the rearview mirror, so people still will be washing their hands more. They may sometimes even put on a mask if it's a time of they have a cold or they think it's a high level of, you know, influenza or COVID, whatever it might be. So I think people are coming to grips, moving forward. And also, I think that there are people that working from home, not being in contact with a lot of people every day. I think there are people that feel that is a good thing, too. So it's probably a hundred different different things. Every person has a different reason. But I think to some degree, there's a settling in and an awareness that we're still in the midst of this, particularly with this hmm. new Delta variant. But right. again, people live, people move on. You know, you look at the devastation of World War II, which we can't even fathom 
you know, in the world that we're in right now. And we can look at Afghanistan and worry and feel bad. But when you look at the whole world kind of torn apart at that particular time, or a good share of it, what we're dealing with is a catastrophe, difficult. But I do feel Americans, we, we have an ability in the midst of, of disasters, call it whatever you will, to move forward. And I think a lot of people are doing that and trying to. And this is a good example of people changing careers, recognizing that life really is short, taking a look at who they are, finding meaning in life. So I think, yeah, these are... These are exciting times, and you're right, Dave. I have talked about this for years and mm-hmm. do advise people that look at the cards you have. Don't look at other people's cards and decide what do you have, what can you play, move forward and make the best in the life that you can. And this is a time that obviously millions of Americans are really taking a look at that and are deciding um, what am I going to do, who am I, why am I here, what relationships are important to me, what am I going to develop, and moving forward in that direction. In one sense, it's an exciting time, even if a, an obviously very difficult time for many people. The Washington Post poll conducted here in mid to late July by the uh, Shar School of Policy and Government, that's at George Mason U, and really interesting info here on, you know, what people's mindset is during, career-wise, during the pandemic and the changes that have come from that for not just a few, but for many Americans, nearly a third of U.S. workers under 40, considering those uh, career changes. The good doctor here, Regional Psychological Services, East Lansing, drjohnb.com. Always good to talk to you. Again, don't don't change that career right now. And if you're going to, you'll you know, think about it a little bit too at this point because I think, I think you are in a good position and you have been right about this mindset before. Good talking to you today, Doc. Always a pleasure. You're way too young to change careers yet, Dave, just moving on to life. Good Very good. talking to you, Mike. All right. We'll Bye. be back. Talk next week. All right. 1320. Coming back. W-I-L-S.